Hello and welcome to BMC Video Solutions. In this video we will demonstrate how to configure the SSL in the web access application. In the first part of this demonstration we'll go to the web access desktop to the repository list which is listed under root definitions common repositories ctrl d mainframe repositories and select the repository on which we wish to configure for SSL. Double click on the repository in which you wish to configure the SSL to open a configuration window. Check the checkbox using SSL TLS at the bottom of the configuration window. Before clicking OK and moving on with the default values that the web access has supplied us, I want to talk about the security level. Security level number three dictates that there's no client authentication, whereas security level number four does uh, require client authentication, which is important to remember as this parameter will be defined in the mainframe part of the configuration. Now click OK. The next part of the configuration is to configure the communication. So follow the path of configuration configuration, web access server, web access, web access and double click on communication and security settings. In the newly opened window select the advanced tab and open the combo list of the using SSL TLS option and change the option from no TS and click OK. The next part of the demonstration is to configure the web XML file which is located in the bin folder. For this go to C program files BMC software control D WA bin folder in the bin folder open the web INF folder right click on the web XML file and click to edit the file scroll down to where it says BMC CTD web access using SSL parameter name change the parameter value from false to true click save and exit the XML file to update all of the changes made, run the command prompt as administrator in the following path. Issue the command update SSL settings and confirm that you have completed successfully and open the Tomcat installation bin folder. Locate the startup batch file and double click on it to start the Tomcat. The final part of the web access configuration for the SSL is to restart the web access service. Locate the BMC Control D web access server and then just restart it. And that concludes the first part of configuring the SSL in the desktop of the web access. For the second part of this video, we will enter the mainframe and invoke ICE. And navigate to the advanced channel parameters panel. Select customization, select your environment, then select IOA product customization. In the major step list, select option, install IOA gate. In the minor step list, select option, configure IOA gate parameters. In the IOA gate parameters menu, select option 0, ECA palm X. In the panel ECA Palm Holding, select ECA Palm D and exit. Back in the IOA Gate Parameters menu, select option to define update channel. In the menu, create update channel. Use A, the advanced parameters option to select the channel. Select channel D1. Once you succeeded arriving at the advanced channel parameters, you will need to change the SSL to yes and add three new parameters. These three new parameters can only be added if the resource access control facility was defined for SSL. In short, if the RACF is not defined, you will not be able to configure the SSL. Let's add all the required parameters for the SSL definition. The key ring and the key lab parameters should be supplied by your system administrator. The client authentication is to do with the security level that was talked about at the beginning of the video. For security level 3, it's no. For security level 4, it's yes, which requires client authentication. Return to the IOA gate parameters menu by pressing twice on the PF key 3. Select option for build. Build the parameter member and wait for confirmation. 
exit eyes to the SDSF to, to restart the IO gate D monitor. After restarting the monitor gate D, verify that the CSF or ICSF monitor, depending on your system name, is up. To verify that the configuration was successful, go to your browser, select the repository which you just configured for SSL and try to log into it. Success of logging in will mean that you successfully completed the configuration of the SSL. That concludes this Control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.